So I have a chip implant in my arm and I have programmed uh, the chip so that I have my COVID passport and on the chip. And the reason is that I always want to have it accessible. And when I read my chip, I just swipe my phone on the chip and then I unlock and it opens up. This is a PDF, which is my COVID passport. And this means that it's always accessible for me uh, or for anyone else really who wants to read me. Uh, for example, if I go to the movies or go to a shopping center, uh, then people will be able to check my status, even if I don't have my phone. The COVID pass is maybe the, the thing for, uh, you know, the winter of 2021, 2022. So we're going to use this for a few months, then it's going to go out of fashion. We'll do, uh, you know, a hundred other things. So, but right now it's hot because, you know, there's a very relevant user application for it. So that's why we're doing this right now. If you understand how these implants work, they don't have a battery they cannot transmit a signal by themselves so they are basically passive they sit they are asleep right they can never tell your location they are only activated when you touch them with your smartphone so this means that they cannot be used for tracking anyone's location and what matters to me is that the people who get chip implants they do so because they are you know on a voluntary basis uh, and because they're curious and they want to work with this technology